Welcome to Innovation Dialogue. I'm Diana Ding, and today we're with Baron Zhou, and he's the director of strat strategic program uh, of Indiegogo. Uh, we're going to talk about empower tech company Go Global. Thank you for having me here. Yeah, thank you. So just give us some background of yourself. Um, sure. So I'm Baron. Right now I'm running the uh, Indiegogo uh, strategic programs, which including running the entire team in China mm -hmm. and also building the ecosystem in the Southeast Asia, Asia Pacific mm -hmm. to help uh, U.S. companies and also China companies mm -hmm. to uh, launch on our Indiegogo website to help them to grow uh, from a startup to a mm -hmm. uh, full-service product company. Mm -hmm. we, we're talking about empower tech company go global. We all know that there are so many tech companies in Silicon Valley, but right. tech company actually, you know, uh, most of the tech company, uh, you know, when they become successful, at least takes three years or seven years. Mm -hmm. But many of them cannot survive for even three years. Uh, what's the reason of that? You know, uh, Silicon Valley is the center of the world for innovation. And even for Silicon Valley, we have seen, um, you know, different eras of, for companies uh, in different decades. For example, like in the 1950s, mm -hmm. uh, we see a lot of uh, semiconductor companies, mm -hmm. you know, developed from here. Um, originally, you know, Sunnywell, um, this is uh, like uh, the entire place is ultra, uh, you know, garden. And right now, uh, we have seen, you know, Fairchild, we have seen uh, Intel uh, developed in that era. And then we see uh, personal computing. Personal computing uh, developed in the 1980s. Then we see software, you know, mm -hmm. a lot of software companies in the 1990s. Mm -hmm. Then when we enter 2000, we see a lot of uh, mobile technology. Mm -hmm. And now in recent years, we see a new era mm -hmm. of hardware innovations, IOTs, mm -hmm. and also biomedical mm -hmm. te technology, you know, developed in this mm -hmm. region. Mm -hmm. So the reason for that, you know, uh, different uh, technology trends have been, you know, originated from this place is that companies often they focus on technology development. Mm -hmm. Then after they have their prototype, they want to market the product to the market. Mm -hmm. So they have to, you know, hire their CMOs, they have to hire the whole bunch of marketing uh, professionals. Then they try to, you know, uh, to understand their uh, customer persona, they try to understand how they can, you know, sell their product to the market. Mm -hmm. And that's often where the challenge, you know, becomes really a huge problem which mm -hmm. the original founding team mm -hmm. cannot solve. Mm -hmm. That's, you know, how, you know, even for Apple, uh, the board member mm -hmm. have to, you know, uh, replace Steve Jobs with a CEO, you know, from uh, PepsiCo. Mm -hmm. um, so we have seen that trend so often, that's why mm -hmm. right now we are focusing on providing a one-stop solution mm -hmm. for those early startups mm -hmm. to help them to develop their uh, product uh, mm -hmm. from nothing, um, you know, literally nothing, uh, with our industrial design solution, with mm -hmm. our supply chain solution, mm -hmm. with our logistics solution, to help them to build mm -hmm. a prototype mm -hmm. and ready to put on the market. Mm -hmm. And at the same time, mm -hmm. we also have the entire marketing solution. Mm -hmm. uh, we call it, you know, one-stop, you know, go-to-market strategy, mm -hmm. where we use our creative content solution, a PR solution, and mm -hmm. also EDM mm -hmm. solution to help them to reach their end audience as quickly as possible. When you see one stop, even the, even though people think, but it actually it's not a one stop. It, there's so many things. There are so many stops. Yeah, there's so, so yeah. many stops and so many things you need to do. But how do you identify, uh, because there are so many technologies, so many products, but how do you identify which product was suitable for this market? Uh, this is a very, very good question. You know, uh, I have been in this business for almost like, you know, six, seven years. Uh, since uh, when I first built the incubator in uh, Suzhou and also in Shenzhen. Uh, back then, we worked with Flectronics, um, which had a quarter actually literally just five miles from here. Um, and Flectronics, you know, as a big company, they want to identify the early adopters for a certain technology. They wanted to identify those really promising startups. Mm -hmm. So what we did is that we go out and sourced 
600 companies, mm -hmm. 600 companies, and we go through them one after one. We interview them. Mm -hmm. We're trying to figure out, you know, from technology uh, point of view, from product point of view, mm -hmm. and also from their management branding, team. Yeah, management mm -hmm. team and mm -hmm. marketing point of view, mm -hmm. to really trying mm -hmm. to uh, use our funnel to finalize who uh, who, are, who are going to be the winners, mm -hmm. you know, in the next 10 years. Mm -hmm. Then we select the 30 companies. Mm -hmm. We put them through a six months of incubation, mm -hmm. um, you know, program. What's the result? The result is that two thirds of the company, mm -hmm. uh, they get their uh, A rounds of funding. Mm -hmm. So basically that's, you know, a very, very good result well, if you compare it to the benchmark. Yeah, 600 to 30 and 30 to maybe 60%. Still, a very, still yeah. a very small number. Still a very, <laughs> very small, small number. Less than 10%, right? Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah, you than know, 10%. the industrial mm -hmm. average for, you know, mm -hmm. uh, venture capital mm -hmm. uh, success is mm -hmm. normally is just two, three percent because mm -hmm. the winners, mm -hmm. the winners is always mm -hmm. a minority. Mm -hmm. But the mm -hmm. thing, mm -hmm. the thing I, I want to share here is that mm -hmm. If you can find a formula, mm -hmm. if you can find a formula, you know, how to develop with your product mm -hmm. and also how to put the product on the market, mm -hmm. you often realize that, you know, as mm -hmm. we just shared, there are so many stops, but you need to have a mm -hmm. one stop mindset is mm -hmm. that you can mm -hmm. see the end mm -hmm. when you start it. Uh, you mentioned about mindset. I think mindset is really very important. So what is the right mindset or what is the successful mindset? <laughs> It is a kind of a strategic way of mm -hmm. thinking. It is mm -hmm. a strategic way mm -hmm. of understand your customer. Mm -hmm. So with your customer's expectations mm -hmm. in your mind, mm -hmm. you will understand, you know, even though you have, you know, really fantastic technology, mm -hmm. but you often have to develop a suitable product mm -hmm. to your consumers. Mm -hmm. We have seen mm -hmm. many examples. Yes. Yeah, we well, have seen many examples. But I examples. think it's very difficult to really understand your next generation uh, consumer or customers because the market is changing and new, pro new product coming everywhere, new technology. So for your company, Indiegogo, how do you define the trend? How do we define the trend? The thing is that we cannot define the trend. Mm -hmm. We discover the trend How do you and discover? we try to follow it. Mm. Well, there are many signs, mm. even though there's no, you know, um, mm. clear trend out there, but we can always, you know, from the data that we have collected, from the experience, years of experience that we have gathered, mm. we can always tell, you know, for Bluetooth mm. 4.0 or for 5G technology, there's always new generations of product come out, you know, from our pools of, uh, you know, uh, companies. Let me give you an example. You know, in um, in 2018, we have a great product launched on our platform. It's called MadeX. MadeX is a ex electronic powered bike. Mm -hmm. So that bike sold for uh, 17 million US dollars within those two months of time. So people love this bike because it's light. Mm -hmm. At the same time, it could, you know, power like 10 miles, 20 miles. It's really fun. You can ride it on the seashore. You can ride it mm -hmm. during the weekends. But this year, there's another generation of the product mm -hmm. using the best technology right now available on the market. Mm -hmm. They have improved on battery technology. Mm -hmm. They even have a secret technology, which actually you can harvest mm -hmm. the energy when you're going down hills or when you are, you know, break, mm -hmm. having a break mm -hmm. on a bike. So mm -hmm. basically it will going to harvest the energy back mm -hmm. to your battery. So it will extend your, the, the distance of the bike could go up to 40%. So right mm -hmm. now that bike could go up to 80 to 100 miles. Wow. You know, that is amazing. So mm -hmm. that is kind of a trend of technology mm -hmm. that we can expect. And that's also how we could identify a winner. Mm, when you mentioned giving me the example, then I just can't think about one thing is technology, but another thing is the function of the product, right? Right. Uh, and also, but how do you build the brand? Uh, people, you know, there might be other products in the market, but how, how do you help to build the brand? Well, that is a very challenging thing. Mm -hmm. I would say that's a very challenging task. Mm -hmm. You know, a lot of uh, uh, funding teams, mm -hmm. they have so much confidence in that technology mm -hmm. and they thought, you know, this is a product, mm -hmm. we have built it, mm -hmm. 
mm. you know, uh, people is going to love it. Ours is best. Yes, that's, <laughs> you know, that's kind of a mindset that a lot of entrepreneurs really have to avoid. Because mm. why? If you cannot, you know, talk to your consumer, if you cannot really, you know, ask them the what's their expectation, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, normally you cannot, you know, so sure about their reaction from the real market. Mm -hmm. So that's why mm -hmm. um, our team is going to help those entrepreneurs to identify the right audience and mm -hmm. help them to narrow down the do segment of the market. How do you help? What do you, what will you do? Will you do? You know, as a Indiegogo as a platform, we have a lot of service providers. Mm -hmm. Service providers, so basically the agencies that mm -hmm. work with Indiegogo, you know, we have them in the US, we have them in Europe, we have them in China. So they know the market best. Mm -hmm. And they also have a lot of data tools mm -hmm. so they can research from Amazon, from Shopify. Mm -hmm. They can help the entrepreneurs to you know, make sense of the data to tell them you know, what kind of function you know, the, the general population actually expect from your product, then they can make the right decision. Mm. Today we're talking about empower tech company, Go Global. When we see Go Global, actually Asia, China is a huge market. Have right. you ever helped any American companies go to China? You know, right now we're designing a pilot program. Mm. Uh, you know, uh, our CEO, um, Dave, is very passionate about developing Asia market. Um, so uh, last month, uh, we also had a meeting with um, uh, local officers from Alibaba and also from Suning. Mm -hmm. So we're talking about um, some really great plans uh, that we, you know, could have in the near future, even though I cannot disclose, mm -hmm. you know, um, a lot more uh, details about it. Uh, but in the future, we can definitely, you know, help U.S. companies to go global through our platform and also services. Mm -hmm. Baron, actually, you know, I would say he's a, like a pioneer who knows Asian culture, American culture, Thank you. and been working as a consultant as a strategic uh, partners, and also the you know management and sales and PR in all the you know areas of this industry. So, what do you see the future in the next five or ten years in this industry? Well, in this industry, I could say that we see a huge potential um, because every year we see more and more mm -hmm. uh, innovative products and also companies come out to the market. Mm -hmm. uh, but often there's not enough of guidance for the companies to go to the right direction. Mm -hmm. So right now that's why we're working with industrial design firms. Mm -hmm. We're also working you know, with supply chain companies, we're working with logistic companies mm -hmm. to help those entrepreneurs uh, at the best, to help them to uh, develop their product from zero to, mm -hmm. um, to a prototype. Mm -hmm. At the same time, we're also building a brand accelerator program to help them to, you know, gather all the information and resources they need mm -hmm. to build their brands um, to the right market. Mm. The last question, this is innovation dialogue. So what is innovation by your definition in one sentence? Wow, that's, you know, really hard because innovation, <laughs> it's, uh, there are a lot of things, but I will say that innovation is something that you dreamed often and then through hard work you make it come true. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Thank you, Thank Barry. you. Thank you, everyone.